today. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2 meteorologist Hannah Evans. And not a bad morning out there so far. Yes, it's pretty mild. In the Mohawk Valley, we're in the 40s mm -hmm. at this point, and then today we'll reach the 70s. But you were mentioning tomorrow morning at this time. Yes, it's going to be chilly. Yeah. So overnight lows tonight will fall into the 30s, so we'll be in the 30s wow. tomorrow morning. Frost here. Yes, Mid -May. possibly some frost. Yeah. So let's take a look now at the temperatures to start. No frost today. We are pretty mild. It's a little bit cooler to the south, though, in the Southern Valley. So warmer in the Mohawk Valley. We have 49 degrees in Richfield Springs, 48 degrees in Earlville, and then we have 42 degrees in Cooperstown. We are still tracking dry conditions on our York full battery, Storm Tracker 2. Doppler radar. It will remain mostly dry today, but a weaker cold front moves in from the north this evening. So we will be seeing an increase in cloud cover for this evening and just a passing shower is possible after dark, but it will cool us down for tomorrow. So today we will be sunny but windy. Highs will be in the low 70s with that passing shower possible tonight. And then after tonight, it does going to get, it will cool down and it will be cooler tomorrow, still windy. And then tomorrow night, it's going to be cooler as well with frost possible both tonight and tomorrow night. So for today, expect sunshine. Highs are going to be in the low 70s. It's going to be windy. And I will talk a little bit more about that chance of rain coming up, Gary. Anna, thank you. Let's get right to it now. The town of Western could... Welcome back. We did see some patchy frost two nights ago. Last night we didn't see anything, but it is possible to see it again tonight and tomorrow night. So once again, frost is still possible this time of year. The last frost looks to be mid-May for the Mohawk Valley, so kind of around this time. So maybe after this week, it looks like we will be a little bit warmer. Early June for the Adirondacks and Old Forge area, and then late May for the rest of the North Country and the Southern Valleys, as they do tend to get a little bit cooler at night. So here is what it's looking like for our overnight lows over the next couple of days. Tonight our overnight low is in the mid 30s. That is pretty close to freezing, so frost is possible again tonight. And then tomorrow night, we have an overnight low just around 30 degrees. So that's below freezing. Definitely possible to see frost tomorrow night. But then we look to warm up towards the end of the week and weekend with the overnight lows, not expecting to see frost for the rest of the week. So if you did have any plants outside that are sensitive, I would probably bring them in tonight just in case, and then definitely tomorrow night. But we are going to be seeing nice conditions during the day, so if you did want to water them, I would say yes for every day this week up until Saturday. It looks like we're not going to be seeing any rain. Gary. Hannah, thanks. A train car full of garbage. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are starting out mild this morning. We are mostly in the 40s, and we are going to be seeing sun again today. So let's take a look at downtown Utica. We can see some higher level clouds already this morning. They stayed overnight, so it kept us pretty warm here in the Mohawk Valley and up north. It is a little bit cooler to the south, though. But today we will be seeing sun again, and we will be a little bit warmer. We'll reach the low 70s. So here's a look at our temperatures right now. We have 50 degrees already in Whitesboro and Deansboro, 45 degrees in Inlet. And if we look to the south, we are a little bit cooler, 39 degrees in Hamilton, 36 degrees in Norwich, but not cool enough for any frost here this morning. The dry trend does continue. This is our York full battery, Storm Tracker 2, Doppler radar. And not really any windy conditions yet, but it will be windy once again today coming out of the west. We will also see an increase in cloud cover heading into this evening. So because of a weaker cold front coming in from the north, an increase in cloud cover, but overall still a nice day and still dry during the day. But we do see the possibility of a passing shower after dark here this evening. Then as we head into tomorrow, we dry out again. We're just going to be cooler just in the 50s tomorrow for the high temperature due to that cold front that moves through this evening. We'll start to warm up again to more sunshine for Thursday. We'll be back in the 60s and in the 70s heading into Friday. So we're all still a nice next couple of days to spend outside. Definitely yes 
highs today, just that possibility of that passing shower later this evening. And then we will be dry again tomorrow, just cooler in the 50s. We'll be in the 60s on Thursday. And it is going to continue to be windy. So the windy trend continues today, tomorrow. We do get a little bit of a break on Thursday from that wind, but then it does get windy again for Friday and for the weekend. So keep that in mind. It is going to be nice and warmer, but it is going to be a little bit windy for this, these next coming days. So today on our Skycast at noon, we'll already be in the low 70s. We will remain in the low 70s today, but seeing a strong wind coming from the west, and we will see an increase in cloud cover coming in from the north. A passing shower is possible here in the Mohawk Valley, but looks like not too likely on our Skycast. And then we drop into the 30s tonight with frost possible again tonight. Tomorrow we remain on the cooler side. At noon we'll be just near 50 degrees and then the lower to mid 50s for the high temperature. Now a stronger wind coming from the north. Then as we head into Thursday, frost is possible again at night as we see overnight lows around freezing. Will not be as windy on Thursday and it will warm up a little bit. Mid 50s at noon, mid 60s for the high temperature with sunshine. So for today, expect sunshine and increasing cloud cover later. It's going to be windy as we reach the low 70s. A passing shower is possible after dark, but it doesn't look likely. We'll see an overnight low in the 30s with frost possible. We only are in the 50s tomorrow and then frost is possible again tomorrow night into Thursday. It's more likely tomorrow night. We'll start to warm up on Thursday and Friday with our next chance of real rain on Saturday, Gary. That's a big red 30 there. Yes, just in case. So frost is definitely more likely tomorrow night compared to tonight. So just to, you know, remind people. Yeah, a lot of people have been planting, so we got to look out for that. Yes. Hannah, thanks. The time right now is 522. Coming up, for joining us, I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker, two meteorologist Hannah Evans. And yesterday, another beautiful day. The string just keeps on going. Yes, a nice day today in the 70s, just a little bit windy, and then we'll cool down tomorrow. Yeah, and overnight chilly. Yes, overnight tonight, and then even cooler tomorrow overnight. Oh, my goodness. Yes, so. Watch those plants. Yes. So let's take a look now at the temperatures to start this morning. No frost last night. We are pretty mild. We have 41 degrees in Little Falls, 48 degrees in Whitesboro, 47 degrees in Westmoreland and Earlville. Still tracking dry conditions on our York full battery. Storm checker 2 Doppler radar. So today we will be dry with sunshine, but a weak cold front comes in from the north, possibly bringing in a passing shower after dark this evening. But what it really does is it cools us down for tomorrow. So today we will be sunny and windy, but we will be warm. We'll reach the low 70s with that passing shower possible tonight. Overnight lows tonight fall into the mid 30s, so a chance of frost there. We'll just be in the 50s tomorrow with windy conditions, but we'll see sunshine. And then tomorrow, overnight into Thursday, it is possible we are going to fall below freezing. So frost definitely more likely tomorrow night. So for today, expect sunshine. Highs are going to be in the low 70s. Will be windy, and I will talk a little bit more about that frost. Coming up, Gary. Anna, thanks. And don't forget the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. Time is. The Cooperstown Cam is brought to you by Utica National Insurance Group. Welcome back. We are measuring 40 degrees at the Grimmers Park Airport in Rome. So no frost here this morning. We are seeing some higher level clouds this morning, but we are seeing some sunshine. And today the wind will pick up once again as we do reach the low 70s. But a weaker cold front moves in this evening. It does bring an increase in cloud cover and a very small chance of just a passing shower this evening after dark. It does cool us down though for tonight and tomorrow. So overnight lows tonight fall into the mid 30s. Frost is possible. We'll just be in the 50s tomorrow with sunshine. And then tomorrow overnight into Thursday, frost is more likely as we fall into the low 30s. We'll start to warm up again on Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend with not really any chance of frost after tomorrow night. So warmer and windy today will be in the low 70s. The wind looks to continue for most of the week with that passing shower possible tonight and cooler weather to follow. Gary. Anna, thanks. Oneida, Herkimer, Madison, Bo the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans.
Good morning, everybody. We are starting out pretty mild this morning, and it is going to be warmer today as we reach the low 70s. Let's take a look at downtown Utica, though. We are seeing some higher level clouds this morning. That did keep us warm last night. Most of us were in the 40s last night, with the exception of areas to the south of the Mohawk Valley. They were a little bit cooler, but no frost this morning. As we take a look at our temperatures, we do have 44 degrees in Inlet, 46 degrees in Whitesboro and Westmoreland, and taking look to the south once again a little bit cooler 35 degrees in Sherburne 36 degrees in Norwich still tracking dry conditions on our York full battery storm tracker 2 at Doppler radar once again today it is going to be a little bit windy coming out of the west we are going to be seeing an increase in cloud cover coming in from the north due to a weak cold front that looks to pass through this evening so that possibly brings in a passing shower but it won't be until after dark so today we are going to be seeing sun but once again we will be seeing clouds increase so partly cloudy skies by later this afternoon and then after the cold front moves through tonight we will be seeing sunshine again for tomorrow and towards the end of the week it's just going to really cool us down for tomorrow tomorrow our highs are just going to be in the 50s but overall still nice days to spend outside I would say yes for today tomorrow Thursday even Friday we will continue to see the sunshine and the dry trend continue it's just going to remain windy and it will cool down a little bit tomorrow the only break we get in this wind looks to be Thursday, it drops down to just a breeze, but then it looks to pick up and get windy again for Friday and for the weekend. So on our skycast today, we will be seeing temperatures reach near 70 already at noon, but as we can see, pretty windy. We will see an increase in cloud cover coming in from the north due to that weak cold front. And this evening, it's going to be pretty windy, low 70s, with possibly a passing shower, but not looking too likely on our skycast. Then after that moves through, we are going to get chilly overnight. Frost is possible tonight as we reach the mid-30s for the overnight low. It could be getting a little bit cooler in some areas, so I'll say patchy frost is possible tonight. And then tomorrow, we won't warm up too much. At noon, we'll just be near 50, and in the lower 50s for the high temperature. Still sunny, and still seeing a stronger wind coming from the northwest. Then as we head into Thursday, frost is more likely Wednesday into Thursday as we see overnight lows around freezing heading into Thursday morning. So frost is more likely than then we'll warm up a little bit more on Thursday though. At noon we'll be in the mid 50s and mid 60s for the high temperature and then don't forget that wind does die down for a little bit on Thursday with sunshine. So for today expect sunshine. We do see an increase in cloud cover later. It's going to be windy and in the low 70s. Passing shower possible this evening. Very small chance of it. We see an overnight low fall into the mid 30s. Tomorrow we won't warm up too much. We'll be much cooler just in the 50s and then frost is more likely heading into Thursday morning. We'll warm up on Thursday into the 60s, into the 70s on Friday with our next chance of widespread rain on Saturday, Gary. Again, uh, it just keeps rolling on, doesn't it? Yes, nice weather towards the end of the week. That's for sure. We're, we're loving this, Hannah. Yes. Hannah, thanks. A pair of records have been... And Evan. And let the good times roll. Just these beautiful days just keep on going. Yes, we're going to be seeing sunshine through the end of the week. It's just going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow in the 50s. Loving it. Yes, I do like it as well. Yeah. So let's take a look now at the temperatures to start this morning. No frost last night. We are in the 40s, 45 degrees in Whitesboro, 46 degrees in Earlville and Richfield Springs, and it is a little bit cooler to the south of the Mohawk Valley. But we are still dry on our Yorkville battery. Storm Tracker 2 at Doppler Radar. A weak cold front comes in from the north later. It is possible to see a passing shower later this evening after dark. But what that really does is it cools us down tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. So today will be warmer, sunny and windy in the low 70s. Then we will be seeing that possibility of passing shower, very low chance of this, but we'll be in the mid-30s tonight, so frost is possible. The 50s tomorrow, it's going to be cooler and windy. And then tomorrow night, frost is likely as we fall below freezing. So for today, expect sunshine, low 70s, it's going to be windy, and I will talk a little bit more about that chance of frost coming up, Gary. Anna, thanks. Let's get right to it now. The town of Western could soon
Welcome back. We are possibly going to be seeing some frost tonight and then more likely tomorrow night. So just a reminder that the final frost is expected mid-May for the Mohawk Valley, so around this time. Later May for the Southern Valleys and up north, and then early June, a little bit later, up for the Adirondacks and Old Forge. So taking a look at our overnight low temperatures, tonight we are going to be getting pretty chilly due to a weak cold front that moves through, possibly bringing the chance for a passing shower after dark this evening. We'll be in the mid-30s tonight. So patchy frost is possible. Then tomorrow night we actually get really chilly. We'll fall below freezing for the overnight lows. So frost is definitely likely tomorrow night. And then we warm up with not really any more frost for the rest of the week and into the weekend. So if you are gardening, probably need to water your plants almost every day this week up until Saturday. And then maybe you want to bring them inside or cover them for tonight and tomorrow night. Gary. Hannah, thanks. A train car full of garbage. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are waking up pretty mild this morning, and it is going to be a warm day today as highs reach the low 70s. Let's take a look at downtown Utica. We can see some sun this morning, but higher level clouds in the atmosphere. That's what kept us pretty mild overnight with lows just in the 40s for most of us. It was a little bit cooler to the south in the 30s, but no frost expected this morning. Our sky watchers mostly have us in the 40s. We have 46 degrees in Old Forge and Deerfield, 47 degrees in New Hartford. But if we look to the south, a little bit cooler, 35 degrees in Lawrence, Edmiston, and in Morris to start. We will be in the low 70s, though, and we will be seeing dry conditions again today. This is the Yorkville Battery, Storm Tracker 2 at Doppler Radar. We are just going to be seeing an increase in cloud cover due to a weak cold front approaching us from the north that possibly brings in a passing shower after dark this evening. But very low chance of this. It will once again be windy today. So we will be seeing partly cloudy skies as the clouds increase this evening. But then once that clears out, mostly sunny for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, it's just going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow after that cold front does move through. But I would still say nice days to spend outside. We are going to be the warmest today, so yes, today. Tomorrow will just be in the 50s, so a little bit cool and windy, but still nice with sunshine. Nice with sunshine on Thursday as we start to warm up, and same thing goes for Friday. So this nice, pleasant stretch of sunshine does continue towards the end of the week, but once again, pretty windy this week. Tomorrow and Friday are going to be windy as well as today. We do get a break in the wind speeds on Thursday. It's just going to be a little bit breezy, but overall still windy this week. So if you are heading outside with that sunshine, just a reminder that it is going to be a little bit windy. So for today on our skycast, we will warm up pretty quickly. At noon, we'll be in the low 70s. We see that strong wind coming out of the west. Low 70s for the high temperature. This evening, we will see an increase in cloud cover coming in from the north because that's the way the cold front is coming in. As we see a little bit of green, so a passing shower is possible, but it doesn't look too likely as we see here on our skycast. But then after that, we cool down. So tonight, there is a possibility of some patchy frost as we fall into the mid 30s. Then tomorrow, we won't warm up too much. We'll be windy again with sunshine, but just near 50 at noon and in the mid 50s for the high temperature. So pretty cool. And then frost is more likely tomorrow night as we see overnight lows falling just around freezing, even below freezing for some of us. We'll start to warm up again on Thursday. Not as windy, so we get a break in that wind. Mid-50s at noon on Thursday, and then mid-60s for the high temperature. So for today, expect sunshine. Clouds do increase throughout the afternoon. We'll reach the low 70s and be windy. And then tonight, we drop it to the mid-30s. Patchy frost is possible. Tomorrow, we'll just warm up to the 50s, so a little bit cooler with sunshine. Frost is more likely and widespread tomorrow night. We start to warm up again tomorrow and into Friday with widespread rain coming in on Saturday. And thank you for joining us for this half hour. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker, Chimmy Durell, just Hannah Evans. And if you like the sun, 
we're in store for more. Yes, yeah, so some more sun today. It will be a little bit warmer, and then we will cool down tomorrow. An amazing stretch we're in. Yes, it's going to be nice and sunny through Friday. Wow. So let's take a look now at the temperatures to start. We are pretty mild this morning. No frost last night. We have 42 degrees in Cooperstown and 46 degrees in Richfield Springs and Earlville. Still tracking dry conditions on New York full battery storm tracker 2 Doppler radar. Today we will be seeing dry conditions. It's going to get a little little bit windy and a weak cold front comes in from the north so it is possible to see just a brief passing shower later this evening but it is a very low chance of this so today we will be sunny and windy then we will be seeing that that weak cold front come in possibly bring in a passing shower but what it really does is it cools us down so tonight we will be in the mid 30s patchy frost is possible we'll just be in the 50s tomorrow so cooler and windy with sunshine and then tomorrow night frost is more likely as we fall below freezing for the overnight low temperature. So for the rest of today, expect sunshine, low 70s. It's going to be windy, and I will talk a little bit more about that chance of frost coming up, Gary. Anna, thanks, and don't forget the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. Time is... The Cooperstown Camp is brought to you by Utica National Insurance Group. Welcome back. This morning we are in the 40s, 42 degrees being measured at the Gervis Park Airport in Rome. We are seeing upper level clouds at this point and the winds are calm but they will pick up once again today. We will get a little bit warmer. We'll reach the low 70s. A weak cold front moves through this evening. It brings in a very low chance of a passing shower after dark and then we are going to be much cooler tonight in the mid 30s, tomorrow in the mid 50s and then tomorrow night in the low 30s. So we have, do have a chance of Frost both tonight and tomorrow night. We start to warm up again on Thursday in the 60s and then we do reach the 70s heading into Friday. So today it is going to be sunny and warmer. It's going to be windy though. Then we do have that chance of the passing shower tonight and that will cool us down for tomorrow. Gary. Hannah, thank you. Onetta Herkimer, Madison Bosey is a new. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are starting out pretty mild already this morning, and we will get warm today in the low 70s. But let's take a look at downtown Utica this morning. We are seeing upper level, higher level clouds to start, and once again, pretty mild. Today, we look to be seeing some sunshine, and it is going to be windy once again. So our sky watchers this morning have us mostly in the 40s, so no frost last night. 46 degrees in Old Forge and Deerfield, 48 degrees in Clinton. And if we take a look to the south, we're just a little bit cooler, 35 degrees in Edmiston, Lawrence, and in Morris. We will reach the low 70s today, though, and we will remain dry. This is our York full battery. Storm tracker 2 at Doppler radar. But we do see a weak cold front approach from the north this evening. So we will be seeing an increase in cloud cover from the north, and it is going to be windy once again today. This weak cold front does bring in the very small chance of a very light passing drizzle after dark this evening. But what it mainly does is it cools us down for tomorrow. But Nala and her neighbor are excited to enjoy the sunshine and the warmth today. Today she is saying hi to Coco and they do plan on sunbathing once again. I kind of sound like a broken record but we've been so nice recently with sunshine and warmth but once again it will be windy today. So we will see an increase in cloud cover because of that cold front. We will cool down to the 50s tomorrow but we'll be seeing sunshine and then sunshine continues for the end of the week. Great days to spend outside. I would say yes for today through Friday. That's when we will be seeing sunshine. It's just going to remain windy and we're just going to be a little bit cooler on Wednesday. We do actually get a break in the winds for Thursday. So windy today, tomorrow, breezy on Thursday and then windy again for Friday and for the weekend. So for today at noon we'll already be near 70 degrees and in the low 70s for the high temperature. A strong wind coming out of the west. And as we can see an increase in cloud cover from the north this evening. Very small chance of a passing shower looking not likely on our sky cast. But what it does is it brings in the possibility of frost tonight because we drop into the mid 30s overnight. Tomorrow we remain sunny with a stronger wind coming from the north 
northwest now. We'll just be near 50 at noon and in the mid 50s for the high temperatures, so a little bit cooler. Our next probability of frost comes in tomorrow night. It's very likely actually we'll see frost tomorrow night as we drop to just around freezing Thursday morning. Thursday, we will warm up though, reach the mid 50s at noon, mid 60s for the high temperature with less of a wind. So, for today, expect some sun. We will see an increase in cloud cover. It's going to be windy but warmer. And then tonight, frost is possible as we reach the mid 30s. Tomorrow, we'll just warm up to the mid 50s after that weak cold front moves through this evening. Frost is definitely more likely tomorrow night. We'll start to warm up again for Thursday and Friday, Gary. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, very nice. So I'm enjoying it. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> Hannah, thanks. Well, a pair of records have been from where the news comes first. This is News Channel 2 at 7 a.m. on CW11. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on this Tuesday morning. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Stream Tracker 2 meteorologist Hannah Evans. And yet another sunny day ahead. Yes, it will be mostly sunny today. We'll be in the 70s, and then we're just going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow. Oh, can't ask for any better here in May. Yes, we're seeing sunshine through Friday. Yeah, so far, so good. Yes. So let's take a look now at the temperatures to start. We are pretty mild this morning, no frost. 46 degrees in Whitesboro, Earlville, and Richfield Springs. 44 degrees in Westmoreland. We will reach the low 70s today, and we will remain dry. This is our York full batteries from Tracker 2 Doppler radar. A weak cold front does approach from the north this evening. It does bring in some extra cloud cover and the very small chance of a passing shower after dark, but it's looking not too likely. So today it's still going to be windy with some sun. Highs in the low 70s. A passing shower possible tonight because of that weaker. Cold Cold front. But what that cold front will do is it will cool us down. So tonight we'll be in the mid 30s. Patchy frost is possible. Tomorrow much cooler with highs just in the 50s and still windy, but we will be seeing sunshine. And then tomorrow night frost is more likely as we see lows fall into the 30s. So for today, expect sunshine, then an increase in cloud cover, low 70s with windy conditions. And I will talk a little bit more about that frost coming up, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Let's get right to it now. The town of Western Central New York. York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody. We are starting out with dry conditions here this morning. We are seeing some sunshine, but upper level clouds have moved in. So let's take a look at downtown Utica. As we can see, some serious clouds, upper level clouds. That's what kept us warm last night. Last night, we were just in the 40s, so no frost this morning. We are pretty mild. So let's take a look at what our sky watchers have. Mostly in the 40s, 46 degrees in Old Forge and Deerfield, 47 degrees in New Hartford. And taking a look to the south, we have 35 degrees in Emerson, Lawrence, and Morris. It's a little bit cooler to the south. We are dry on our Yorkville battery, Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. The dry conditions continue, but once again today it is going to be a little bit windy and we will be seeing an increase in cloud cover this afternoon from the north. This is due to a weak cold front that is going to be moving through from the north. It does bring in just the possibility of a passing shower. It looks unlikely at this point, but what it really does is it cools us down for tomorrow. But still, great couple days to spend outside for the rest of of this week. Yes, for today through Friday. We're just going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow in the 50s. We'll start to warm up again on Thursday in the 60s and then we'll reach the 70s on Friday. But the wind continues. It will be windy for today, tomorrow. We do get a break from the wind on Thursday and then it gets windy again heading into Friday. So for today, we will warm up. At noon, we'll be right near 70 degrees. It's going to be a little bit windy coming out of the west. And then later, we do see an increase in cloud cover from the north. We can see here possibly a passing shower, but at this point, the sky cast is showing that it is unlikely. What that cold front really does is it cools us down. So tonight, overnight lows fall into the mid 30s. This brings in the possibility of patchy frost for tomorrow morning. So if you do have any plants outside that are sensitive, I would bring them in for tonight and then tomorrow night as well. We do see a stronger wind tomorrow from the north. It's going to be cooler. At noon, we'll be just near 50 degrees and then 
the mid 50s for the high temperature, but we will be seeing sunshine. Then tomorrow overnight is when it does get pretty chilly. Widespread frost is possible. Overnight lows fall below freezing. Then Thursday we warm up. We'll reach near uh, the mid 50s at noon, mid 60s for the high temperature. Less windy as we can see here with sunshine. So for today, expect an increase in cloud cover, low 70s. It's going to be windy, and then tonight we do see the possibility of some patchy frost. Tomorrow we'll remain in the 50s, so on the cooler side. After this week, cold front moves through. We'll see sunshine return though. We'll warm up a little bit more on Thursday after the possibility of widespread frost. Wednesday night to Thursday, and then we'll warm up even more on Friday. Your forecast here is meteorologist Eric Gage in for Hannah today, and boy, Hannah has a nice afternoon to have off, right? Yes, that's right. It's sunny out right now. Slight haze from those wildfires out in Canada, but the smoke is not reaching the ground. We have plenty of sunshine again. Temperatures in the 60s. We have currently 67 beautiful degrees measured at Griffiths Park in Rome, as well as very low dew points. In fact, on our dew point scale, how we uh, usually measure humidity, it actually broke our scale. We have dew points in the 30s, usually measure them between 50 degrees and 70 degrees. And it's also slightly windy out there, too. And on Yorkville Battery, Storm Tracker 2, Doppler radar. Looking quite across central New York this afternoon, but to our north is where our next change of weather is going to arrive. We've had a several uh, days of dry weather, but as this front comes in, this looks to be on the lighter side. Barely any rain showers as this front weakens as it moves over our area, but the story with this is going to be the cool down. Temperatures reaching the 70s today. However, as we head into tonight and for tomorrow, we cool down with highs in the 50s. And I'm talking about uh, what to expect in terms of frost chances coming up. Back to you, Gary. Eric, thanks. With time running out. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good afternoon. Another beautiful day across the area, although slightly windy. You do notice that if you are driving, especially uh, on uh, highways for today. Now, sunshine and temperatures in the 70s, but we do start to cool down uh, as we head into tonight. Here's a live look outside. Our Cooperstown camera brought to you by Utica National. And still, people are outside enjoying this beautiful day. And things are currently quiet on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2, DOP the radar. But turning our attention to the north, we are looking at another round of rain showers that, well, fortunately, we had very dry weather for the near term. But this will start to come down and gradually weaken. So we're looking at possibly some light showers, maybe some light drizzle as this pushes through. The timing looks to be between uh, 7 to 8 p.m. when this finally uh, moves into the Mohawk Valley. So for the rest of the afternoon, things are still going to remain dry. However, we're still dealing with winds this week. Uh, windy conditions for today. Slightly less uh, breezy for Wednesday, and our least windy day of the week looks to be on Thursday before winds pick up once more to wrap up the uh, work week on Friday. And so the bigger picture, we had this cold front sweeping in from Canada. This will start to cool things down. Now, it won't be very quickly. Overnight tonight, frost chances are low, only in higher elevations. But by tomorrow night, we're looking at almost a, a widespread frost possible for the entire area. And I'm going to break it down in our skycast on who can see the frost uh, for the next couple of days. So. Uh, for this afternoon, again, beautiful weather, although again, slightly breezy. As clouds begin to increase by this evening, we see this cold front move in right between uh, 7 8 p.m. It reaches the north country into the Mohawk Valley. Notice how the rain showers on our skycast, our model skycast right here, uh, gradually weakens to the point where it even dries up, too. So there's a chance where this front uh, runs into this very dry air where we are right now that it will actually uh, dry up entirely. But there is still a chance of light drizzle if this uh, front remains strong as it pushes through. Now, after this, looking at a chilly start to your uh, Wednesday morning, and here's a look at the frost chances for Wednesday morning. Again, the North Country, higher chance, and the higher elevations in the Southern Valleys. Mohawk Valley might miss out on that frost, but again, just to be safe, bring those sensitive plants indoors. A cooler Wednesday with temperatures reaching the upper 40s to low 50s, and still windy conditions across the area. 
And then overnight into early Thursday morning, here is our frost chances for uh, early Thursday morning. Again, looking at widespread chances with the highest chances looking to be, again, those higher elevations in the north country. So the next couple of days, just bring your sensitive plants indoors as there is still a higher chance of seeing frost. So for today, high of 74 degrees, sunshine tonight, low of 35 with partly cloudy skies after those rain showers move through. Our seven-day forecast, those uh, frost chances again are most likely for Wednesday night and into Thursday. Sunshine for Thursday, dry Friday, and then rain chances return as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Gary? Beware of that frost tonight. Yep. <laughs> Anna. All right. Anna. Eric, thanks. Now to the violent attack on in this half hour. Once again, here is meteorologist Eric Gage. Another very nice day across the area with lots of sunshine. And on a side note, we did get questions already on our preview of Memorial Day weekend. It's still further out. I want to give you an update on how things are trending. It's way too soon to give you a no rain, all sunshine forecast, but how things are trending right now. This is only a 6 to 10 day outlook, but uh, we do have an 8 to 14 day outlook, and it is trending to be warmer than average and drier than average. So that, again, that doesn't mean completely dry Memorial Day weekend, but that means you have a lesser chance of seeing rain and cooler weather and a higher chance of seeing more sunshine and warmer weather. Now, to our near term, again, sunny and windy today. A cool down tonight as a passing shower moves through from a cold front. And again, cooler and windy for tomorrow, but it's not going to be lasting too long as you reach the 60s and 70s again uh, by the end of the week. And a live look at a Yorkville battery storm tracker, too. Dop the radar again, quiet right now. A cold front up towards the north will bring in again a passing shower uh, uh, this evening between 7 and 8 p.m. in the Mohawk Valley. I'll talk about more what to expect for that, plus frost chances coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hey, Eric, thanks. Rekindlings have. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good afternoon. A beautiful and breezy day across the area today with temperatures currently reaching the lower 70s right now and highs for today reaching the mid 70s. And a live look outside. We got sunshine, but there's also some haze in the skies right now. Uh, again, from those fires out in Canada and also some high level clouds just north of us. Now, cloud cover will start to increase this evening as a cold front from the north uh, gradually approaches. Now, again, things are dry right now in our Yorkville battery storm tracker too, dot the radar. But up towards the north, we have this slow moving cold front set to approach us, especially in the Mohawk Valley between 7 and 8 p.m. this evening. So uh, looking to remain entirely dry, at least for this late afternoon into earlier parts of this evening. Now, the wind speeds are still going to remain relatively strong for this week. Still windy conditions today, less windy, but still breezy for your Wednesday. Uh, less windy, in fact, almost light winds expected for your Thursday with plenty of sunshine. However, winds pick up once more as we head into the weekend for Friday as well as Saturday. So the bigger picture, we have this cold front reaching our area, but we have very, very dry air uh, from this ridge in our area. And this will set to uh, weaken this cold front as it reaches us. So. As it gradually moves its way south, rain showers will gradually lighten up, and we could even get out of this without any rain at all, maybe just some light drizzle as, again, it just approaches between 7 and 8 p.m. So, look at our skycast for uh, this afternoon and this evening. Still in the 70s, a nice uh, evening between 5 and 7 p.m., but that cold front approaches, and as you notice right here, it weakens almost to the point we don't see any rain at all as the front gradually moves south, and then by midnight to 1 a.m., things are entirely dry, and behind this cold front, looking at chilly temperatures. So we're looking at temperatures around the 30s across the area uh, for early Wednesday morning, and here is our frost chances. So the lower elevations in the Mohawk Valley, the I-90 corridor, looking to be uh, relatively safe from the frost chances for t uh, early tomorrow morning, but still, just to be safe, bring those sensitive plants indoors. However, North Country, higher elevations in Southern Valleys, a higher chance of seeing frost. Wednesday, cooler with highs reaching the low 50s. Still plenty of sunshine across the area, but then tomorrow night is going to be the highest chance of seeing widespread frost across the area. Here's a look at our, our uh, frost outlook. You can notice that most of the area is at a low chance, and the North Country, a higher chance of seeing frost. So again, definitely want to bring in those plants for early Thursday morning. 
So for today, a high of 74 degrees, sunshine, a mixture of haze in the sky. Tonight, a low of 35 with partly cloudy skies after that front rolls through. Our seven-day forecast, we're mostly dry throughout the remainder of the week. Rain chances increase as we head into this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. And it's still a reminder, too, that although it cools down for Wednesday, we're still dealing with high pollen level counts. It doesn't look to be lowering anytime soon. Gary? Eric, thanks. And with that high pollen count this time of... Who has a warning if your plants are already outside? Yeah, you're going to have to bring them in or cover them up, not only tonight, but especially tomorrow night. That's going to be the coldest night of the week. But again, if you want to be careful about this, you might want to take action tonight, too. We have a freeze watch in effect for all of central New York for tomorrow night. Temperatures are expected to drop into the upper 20s. Uh, again, that is going to be plenty cold enough to cause widespread frost. Current temperature is 73 degrees. I know it's hard to think about frost when it's so warm outside. We have that west wind at around 16 miles an hour, but we're tracking a cold front that's going to drop in from the north. We can see some rain with it moving into northern Herkimer County. Uh, this is dropping south and it will weaken. I think by the time it makes it into the Mohawk Valley, it'll produce just a few light showers closer to dark. Uh, the bigger story is the drop in temperature to follow, and that'll be taking place beginning tonight. Increasing clouds this evening, temperatures in the upper 60s. You know, we're tracking some cool weather for the middle of the week, and our frost chances tomorrow night. And look at your forecast coming up. Jason, back over to you. Bill, thank you. Ahead of Memorial Day and. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're tracking a cold front working in from the north. This is going to bring big changes to the weather over the next 24 hours. Let's take a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. The front is approaching from the north. This line of green is rain, and that's going to be dropping south. So here's the Adirondacks, the north country, getting some of that rain now. This is moving into very dry air and it's losing a lot of the ingredients that it is keeping it together. So, believe it or not, we're expecting very little rain from this by the time it gets into the Mohawk Valley. Just a brief shower uh, as we head into later this evening and into early tonight. And again, there's going to be a bigger change with the temperatures. It's going to get much cooler here tonight and into early tomorrow. A time lapse of the afternoon from our Nexus camera overlooking downtown Utica. Uh, this haze in the sky is wildfire smoke. It's thicker today than it has been over the past several days. You can see it showing up very well on the satellite image. This is taken from uh, our uh, satellites uh, looking in from outer space here, central New York. And again, this gray zone here is that smoke that originates from Canada. In fact, we can go backwards. You can see the smoke through Michigan. The origin of this is a major, major fire taking place in Alberta, Canada. The winds tonight are going to turn into the north, and I think that's going to push the smoke south tomorrow, at least the thickest part of it. So we should get a break from that, but I think we will be dealing with more smoky skies here later in the week. Just depends on how all of this unfolds to the west. By the way, that smoke, it's high in the atmosphere. It's not affecting air quality at the surface. We'll continue to, to track that throughout the week. The winds, well, it's going to stay windy here. Tomorrow is going to be a windy day. The winds will become lighter on Thursday. Windy weather on Friday, lighter winds. Looking ahead to Saturday. A couple of cold nights to point out. Uh, tonight we're down into the mid-30s. Tomorrow night we're into the upper 20s. Those are two nights where we will likely be dealing with some frost in our area. Hard to think about that now as temperatures are so warm. We're in the 70s across the area. But again, that cold front drops in from the north tonight and it's going to bring a big drop in the temperature. We go from 70s this evening to 30s by early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., 39 in Utica. It's a cool day tomorrow. Temperatures struggling just to hit 50 degrees, and then we drop below freezing heading into tomorrow night. Mostly cloudy tonight down to 35. Tomorrow, cool and windy. Temperatures in the low 50s. Not a very mid-May-like day. Stern Tracker 2 seven day forecast. The weather does warm up after we get through tomorrow night. I don't see frost in the future here. We're into the low 40s Thursday night, and you can see it warms up. Temperatures will be in the 70s by Friday, 
some rain chances heading into Saturday and Sunday. And coming up in the next half hour, we're talking more about wildfire smoke and why this is affecting our weather so much. You know, interesting you should bring that up while you were giving your forecast. We learned more information on what's happening in Forestport right now, right along Route 28. There's concerns of a forest fire. The calls came in just after 4 o'clock. Firefighters, a number of firefighters are on scene, and at this point, no word that anyone has been injured in this. So we're going to keep an eye on the situation. Well, it feels like this weekend in particular, I'll just Bill Cardis. Yeah, we're tracking the smoke, the haze in the sky. We want to talk more about this. In order to get smoke in the atmosphere, first of all, it has to be a large event. Uh, in this case, there's over a million acres that are on fire in Alberta, Canada. And the jet stream is responsible for carrying all that smoke. The thing is, this is high in the atmosphere. So where all the smoke is taking place, we're down here. We're not feeling any of the air quality issues that would be taking place with that. But it will lead to a really nice sunset this evening if the clouds can be delayed just in time for that. I think we will be cutting it close here. Taking the dog out for a walk this evening. The weather looks great, at least early on. There is a small chance of a shower after, say, 7 p.m., but it really doesn't look to be a big deal. Uh, temperatures will be in the low 70s to upper 60s. Tonight's featured dogs, Cody and Shay from Clinton. And if you want to be part of this, head to Bill's Buddies on Facebook. We are tracking a cold front dropping in from the north this evening. You can see some rain towards Old Forge. Uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Much cooler weather to follow. We've got to look at that forecast coming up. Chris, back to you. If you're planning to drive a Memorial Day week. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are tracking a cold front working in from the north. It is producing a few showers and it's going to bring a big drop in the temperature. Let's take a look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. The front is Moving in from the north, it's uh, dropping into Lewis County, northern Herkimer County, and it is in the process of weakening as it drives into some very dry air. You can see the temperature difference here, uh, Watertown 56, Rome 73. When this front moves through tonight, we're going to see uh, the temperatures drop, and the winds are going to continue. It's been a windy day today. Uh, the winds will continue tonight as well as tomorrow. Unfortunately, this rain is not heavy enough to clear out the air. We are still looking at very high levels of pollen uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, and I don't see any significant relief from this anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, this is a time lapse of our Utica National Tower camera throughout the afternoon. Again, some sunshine, but again, kind of parked behind the haze. And uh, again, we're looking at pretty quiet. Uh, weather here today, but it is going to be quite different tomorrow. It's going to be a lot cooler. We should see the sunshine. Temperatures across the area Barneveld 70 degrees, Old Ford 68, Curtis Corners 69. Across Southern Valleys, uh, Cassville 69 degrees, Frankfurt 74, Westford 70, and Harry in Otego checking in with 72. So that front moves in tonight, and in the wake of it, again, just much cooler weather. Again, maybe a sprinkle uh, late this evening and into early tonight. Temperatures drop into the 30s tonight. If you have sensitive plants, frost sensitive plants, I want you to bring them inside tonight too, just in case, just to be safe here. We're going to have temperatures in the 30s by tomorrow morning. Even some areas like inlet, speculator into the low 30s. Tomorrow, we're looking at sunshine. Temperatures only in the low 50s. Widespread frost is expected tomorrow night. Will be even colder. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the 20s. Mostly cloudy tonight. Again, we're down to 35, so it's best to bring in those plants or cover them overnight. Tomorrow, sunshine, temperatures in the low 50s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Tomorrow night, we're down to 27, so you definitely want to bring in the plants. Expecting a widespread uh, freeze across central New York. 66 on Thursday. Sunshine. I don't see any frost chances ahead here. Uh, looking at some rain to return as we head into the weekend. We'll be right back.
forecast at 6. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Carnes. Some chilly nights are ahead. It was a warm day today, but tonight we're going to be dropping down into the 30s. Tomorrow night, down into the 20s. And that's where we'll start with the National Weather Service issuing a freeze watch for all of central New York tomorrow night. Again, as temperatures fall into the 20s. Current temperature is 71 degrees. It's hard to think about frost when it's so warm outside, but there's a cold front that's moving through. We can see it uh, dropping in from the north on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. This is going to cause the temperatures to drop quite a bit tonight. Uh, we're going to go from 70s to 30s by tomorrow morning. Increasing clouds this evening, temperatures in the upper 60s. Again, a few showers are possible as that cold front arrives. Not expecting a lot with that, but we will see much cooler weather. Again, some frost tonight, widespread frost, a downright freeze taking place tomorrow night. Uh, we are tracking the swings in temperature along with an early look at the weekend forecast. And that's coming up. Kristen, back to you. Happening now, voting for school. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. A lovely but windy day today. Temperatures in the 70s. It is going to cool off a lot more tonight. We have a cold front on the way, and we can see that cold front to the north producing some light showers. On the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. I also have the temperatures on this map, too. And you can see the dividing line between 70s, Rome uh, heading towards Syracuse, versus 50s, uh, Watertown 53. And between the two, we find that cold front. This will be dropping south. A brief shower is possible this evening. We're not seeing a whole lot of rain with this, but we are seeing that big drop in temperature. Here's a time lapse of the afternoon. Uh, this is a look at our downtown camera on the Nexus Center. The milky skies today, once again, coming from wildfire smoke. The smoke today, very thick across central New York. We can see this on the satellite image, this gray haze. And we can also see where it's coming from. If we kept going, we would head into Alberta, Canada, where over a million acres of uh, forests are on fire uh, this evening. And all that smoke is making its way into central New York, high in the atmosphere. This is not making it to the ground, which means it's not causing any air quality issues at the surface. We'll continue to keep an eye on this. I think the cold front is going to push this smoke to the south, or at least the bulk of it, at least temporarily, and should give us a break from the hazy skies tomorrow. What we will not get a break from, the winds. It's windy again tomorrow. Breezy Thursday, windy Friday, breezy Saturday. This prevailing weather pattern favors wind and that's just not going to change anytime soon. It'll be a cool day tomorrow, 53 for the high, but look at tomorrow night, 27. Widespread frost is expected tomorrow night. We might even see frost tonight too, so I want you to go ahead and cover your plants. If you planted uh, frost sensitive vegetation, cover them or bring them in tonight, especially tomorrow night, and I would do it both nights just to be safe. We should be in the clear, though, after tomorrow night. Temperatures will be above freezing for the rest of the week as we see uh, temperatures warm up into the weekend. Gray 70, Curtis Corner 69, Inlet 62. Uh, so quite 69 degrees. West Lawrence, Diane checking in with 71. Again, that cold front will move through the region tonight. Skycast not even showing any rain, but again, maybe a sprinkle with that. Temperatures will drop into the 30s tonight. Some patchy frost tomorrow morning, mainly in the outlying areas, but again, we could be seeing some frost tonight too. Sunshine tomorrow, temperatures only in the low 50s, and then it gets chilly tomorrow night. Widespread frost with temperatures in many areas dropping into the 20s. Tonight, mostly cloudy down to 35. Tomorrow, sunshine, a cool and windy day with highs only in the low 50s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. We'll start warming up here. Uh, pretty quickly. Thursday, we're up to 66. We're into the low 70s on Friday. Steady rain arrives on Saturday. A few showers uh, early Sunday, high of 70. And then temperatures look to be on the warmer side. 67 Monday, 75 looking ahead to Tuesday. So again, some chilly weather in the short term. And then we'll start turning this around towards the end of the week. All right. I don't know. You can't. Can we go? Can you go a little wider? Do you see this over your shoulder? This frog? <laughs> Staring at you. <laughs> That's uh, funny. We can pan a little. It's just staring at him. There it is. I don't know. Caught me off guard.
Thanks, Bill. <laughs> it's green. That's all that matters. Still to come on News Channel 2 at SickAsh, Chief Meteorologist Bill Carter. And before we get into yeah. the freeze watch, boy, were those winds whipping up there today. Yeah, and I know the burn man is over from New York State, but our fire risk is still pretty high when you account for the low humidity and the wind. And we still have a lot of dry brush. We're, just because the, the burn band's over doesn't mean we're completely out of the woods here. And I think we're going to have pretty dry conditions over the next couple of days. But before we get there, we do have a freeze watch in effect for tomorrow night. That means temperatures are expected to drop below freezing across all of central New York. Again, this is for tomorrow night. Even tonight, we have to watch the temperature, too, because I think we'll get down into the mid-30s. Bottom line, if you have any sensitive plants, frost sensitive plants, I would cover them up tonight too just to be safe because it is going to be pretty chilly out there uh, and we're going to continue to uh, look at, at that. Uh, we are going to be seeing some cooler weather in our future. Uh, again, expecting temperatures tomorrow to be at least 20 degrees cooler than today. And uh, then we're going to be tracking some chilly weather here as we head into tomorrow night. Got to look at your forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. We have updated information. From the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Turning out to be a lovely day across Central New York. We've had warm temperatures. Climbing into the 70s this afternoon, and we had some hazy sunshine. In fact, that haze once again coming from wildfire smoke in Canada, uh, in western Canada. That led to a really beautiful sunset. Let's take a look at a time lapse from our Oneonta camera. And uh, again, very colorful sunset. Clouds started to move in, and we did see a change in the weather tonight as a cold front dropped in from the north. That is going to bring much cooler temperatures to our area tomorrow. The front moved through without producing very much weather. We had some clouds and a few sprinkles, but it's the wind, and that's been really the, the big change. That wind's going to be around tomorrow, and with very low humidity plus wind, we have an elevated risk for fires spreading tomorrow. And so we just want to remind people, even though the burn ban is officially done, you're going to want to use caution if you're going to be burning anything outdoors. We don't recommend doing that, but again, there's no official burn ban uh, in effect. Winds uh, tonight, again, gusting from the northwest between about uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour. We'll see those winds continue into Wednesday afternoon. Uh, the winds will become lighter into Wednesday night, and then we'll see winds continue throughout the course of this week. Breezy on Thursday and Saturday. Windy conditions expected on Friday. It's just the weather pattern that we're in getting this wind. Uh, the winds tonight, again, caused by that cold front, a high of 53 tomorrow. 27 for the overnight low tomorrow night. That's cold enough to create widespread heavy frost. So any sensitive vegetation is going to be needed to bring, be brought in tomorrow night for sure. But I would bring it in tonight, too, because it's going to be pretty chilly tonight. We're going to drop down into the 30s. But then going forward, we should stay away from frosts. In the extended outlook, the weather does warm up, and it doesn't look like it'll return anytime soon once we get through, of course, tomorrow night. Again, that cold front has moved through. Temperatures will drop down into the 30s tonight. So again, it is cold tonight. Cover the plants uh, if you need to. Beautiful day tomorrow. Sunshine temperatures in the low 50s. Kind of a crisp day. Chilly tomorrow night. Again, down into the upper 20s. Beautiful day on Thursday. The winds turn into the south. That's going to help temperatures climb quickly. We're going to climb back into the uh, low 60s here Thursday afternoon. Tonight, mostly cloudy, low 35. Tomorrow, cooler and windy, high 53. This is Turn Trigger 2 seven day forecast. Sunshine continues this week. Thursday and Friday will warm up. Steady rain looks to return on Saturday. Brief shower on Sunday. We could use the rain. It's been very dry. It has. And again, that's going to lead to an increased risk for brush fire spread tomorrow. Well, and that brush fire that we saw up in Forestport, I was talking to the chief. He says he'd never seen it jump a road in like 10 seconds. And whew, yeah. it's dry out there. You got to be careful. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Bill. Coming up next, seniors at a local scars. Before we talk about this freeze watch, we really got to emphasize that just because the band burn is over or burn 
for a van. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Just because that's over doesn't mean it's a great idea to go out and burn right now. Right. The conditions are, are favorable for brush fire spread, yeah. and they're only going to become more favorable tomorrow as the humidity plummets and as the winds pick up. So. Uh, we still have a lot of dry uh, brush, and it's been so dry lately. We haven't had a lot of substantial rain right. in a while, so our risk is still high, even though the burn ban is not in effect. We really do encourage folks not to burn tomorrow. Well, let's talk about the freeze watch. Again, it's going to be a cold night tomorrow night, but we also have to watch tonight for the possibility of frost. I know tomorrow night is getting a lot of attention, attention, I should say, but it also tonight's going to be cold. We're already down to 46. I think a lot of places drop into the 30s tonight. So it won't be quite as cold tonight as tomorrow night, but it still could have a negative impact on frost sensitive plants. So it's a good idea to cover them up tonight too, just to be safe. As we take a look at the conditions out there tonight, uh, it's dry. We had a cold front roll through. It tried to produce some showers, but it didn't really have a whole lot of luck doing that. And that's our that was our chance for rain here for the rest of the week. Uh, tonight we're down into the mid 30s. Could see some patchy frost. A better chance for this tomorrow night. Got to look at your forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. We have updated information. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. A lovely day across Central New York. We made it into the 70s. We had some hazy sunshine today caused by wildfire smoke. Once again, the winds in the jet stream are causing a massive fire in Alberta, Canada to blow smoke in our direction. High in the atmosphere, so it's not impacting air quality, but it led to this beautiful sunset tonight. This is the time lapse over Oneana and you can see uh, lots and lots of color there. Then that cold front came through, the clouds came in and the winds have picked up. Uh, we are looking at dry conditions across the area now. It is turning out to be a windy night uh, and that wind is going to continue tomorrow. We have a moderate to elevated risk for brush fire spread tomorrow with low humidity and uh, windy conditions, even though that burn ban is, has, is not in effect, it's expired a few days ago, we do recommend that people don't go out and burn brush tomorrow because again, these conditions favor uh, fires spreading. Even though it's not gonna be a hot day, it's all about the humidity, which is going to be very low tomorrow. Let's look at those winds tomorrow. Breezy conditions tonight. Tomorrow, the winds pick up from the north between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. We could see gusts as high as 25 miles an hour, and then the winds will subside heading into Wednesday night. Breezy conditions throughout the week. The winds will pick up again on Friday. Breezy conditions Saturday. It's just the weather pattern that we're in with this cooler weather working in. The winds are going to kick up, and then our next weather maker on Friday brings more wind. In addition to the wind, the cooler temperatures. In fact, the high tomorrow 53. Look at the overnight low 27. That's in town. That means frost is going to be very widespread tomorrow night. I think we're away from frost for the rest of the week. So conditions look favorable uh, to start thinking about planting this weekend in the Mohawk Valley. If you live outside of the Mohawk Valley, you have to wait another week. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So you look at the radar and satellite image again, that cold front sweeping through the region tonight. In its wake, the weather dries out tomorrow and it's cool. Tonight we drop down into the 30s. So some patchy frost tomorrow morning. Sunshine is expected tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures climb into the low 50s. Widespread frost settles in tomorrow night as many areas fall into the upper 20s by Thursday morning. And then we start to warm up. Mostly cloudy tonight down to 35. Tomorrow sunshine. Cool and windy, high of 53. Stern Tracker 2 seven day forecast. I'm keeping an eye on Saturday, some steady rainfall, much needed rainfall. Uh, that'll be our, our shot to get it uh, over the next seven days. Just a brief shower Sunday. Temperatures climb into the 60s and 70s early next week. Yeah, so we gotta get we gotta get that rain in here though, because things are very dry.